Hi guys, welcome to the next video. So today I have this probability question to discuss with you. It's conditional probability question. So you must actually read the question with me and then pause, try it yourself. Consider four coins labeled one, two, three, and four. Suppose that the probability of obtaining a head in a single toss of the ith coin is i by four. I could take values one, two, three, four because that is denoting your coins, the, the label of the coins. A coin is chosen uniformly at random and flipped. Given that the flip resulted in a head, the conditional probability that the coin was labeled one or two equals. Your options are one by 10, two by 10, three by 10, four by 10. So let's say Xi is the event that I coin is chosen. So probability of choosing any coin is you have four coins. So it is going to be one by four, right? Now, what is given to us? What is given to us is there are four coins and you're also given that, just go to the question, see, suppose that the probability of obtaining a head in a single toss of ith coin is i by four. So we need another event here. So suppose E is that event when the flip resulted in a head. So suppose E is that event when flip is resulting in a head. So it's given that probability E that you're getting a head given that it was the Xi, it was ith coin is equal to I by four. Of course, again, I can go from one to four, right? That is probability of getting ahead with the first coin is one by four. Probability of getting ahead with the second coin is two by four and so on and so forth. We're actually just interested in uh, coin one and two because why we're given that we have to find out what is the probability that uh, conditional probability that the coin was labeled one or two, given that you do get a head. So we need to find out. Ultimately, the question is asking you, what is the probability that it was either X1 or X2 event, given that the event E has occurred, that is we have got our head. So this will be, now you can get, so how I teach this concept. Now you can get this event E, that is you can get a head from X1 also, from X2 also, from X3 also, from X4 also. That means the probability of E in concern would be a total probability. And the moment in conditional probability, you have the concept of total probability seeping in. That means it is associated to the base theorem. Okay. So what we have to find out here is probability. Now what we have to find out is probability. You're getting ahead. Probability that you're getting ahead uh, with either X1 or X2. Now X1, X2 cannot have a common thing. X1 means coin one, X2 means coin two, okay? So intersection is not a possibility here. That means that means it's just going to be probability X1 condition to E plus probability X2 condition to E. Okay, so this could be taken up as, this could be taken up as probability E condition to X1, that is you're getting ahead, given that it was uh, coin one into probability of coin one plus probability you are getting ahead, given it was coin two into probability of coin two. And whole upon, because the denominator is just probability of E, which is basically the total probability. Now, what is the total probability? Total probability is basically your uh, numerator is just a part of the total probability. 
total probability will also talk about getting E under different, different circumstances. So what can be the circumstances? The circumstances can be that you are getting E given you get the coin Xi into probability of the coin Xi, where I can go from 1 to 4. So when you calculate it, what will you get? So probability E condition to X1 is 1 by 4 into 1 by 4, probability of X1 plus E condition to X2 is 2 by 4. Remember, it is I by 4 into 1 by 4 again. Whole thing upon 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 plus 2 by 4 into 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4 into 1 by 4 plus 4 by 4 into 1 by 4. So it's just going to be 1 by 4 could be taken common and it's going to be 1 by 4 plus 2 by 4 and with a 1 by 4 in common, I can take 1 by 4 common here as well. And here I will have 1 by 4 plus 2 by 4 plus 3 by 4 plus 4 by 4. That is 1. This cancels out. And let's see what we get here. If you, in fact, write it down as 4 by 4, it will be easier because what will happen is that you can again, you know, take 4 common. So it's going to be 1 by 4 upon 1 by 4 again. It is 1 plus 2, and it is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. So it's going to be 3 by 10. 3 by 10 is the correct answer, guys. C option should be the correct option. And I hope with this, you have been able to revise a little bit of Bayes' theorem. And that's what I would want you guys to do. You know, once you've done this video, you must actually go back to your registers or book, whatever you're following. Just brush up the concept of base and conditional probability. And previously, when I've done mean median mode, I hope you've already done the properties of mean median mode. You've revised them. Thank you.